The parts of a web page. HTML describes the semantics of how the document is laid out. CSS, which gives you rules that you can use to define how the document looks. And then probably one of the most interesting, fascinating parts of modern web pages are pieces of code that come down with the page and run when the page loads. Those pieces of code are written in a language called JavaScript. And JavaScript is a fascinating history. I certainly can't get into it in five minutes. I certainly can't even really give you a proper introduction to JavaScript in five minutes. But I do want to give you a sense of what JavaScript does um, when it runs on a page. So I'm going back to my example. I've got a very simple web page with some simple CSS uh, and, job, and, and, and HTML. So here's the content of the page. Here's some CSS that I wrote, some CSS rules over here, and my JS fiddle that define how that page looks. And then here's how the page is rendered in my browser. OK, so I've got all the pieces here, but I don't have any JavaScript. So let's look at how JavaScript can modify the page. So when JavaScript runs in the web browser, it can pretty much do anything to the web page it wants. Um, JavaScript is a program, and it can programmatically access the web page. So for example, you could blink text on and off at a certain rate. You could change parts of the document. You can uh, respond to input that the, that the user writes. I mean, JavaScript is a Turing complete programming language. You can do almost anything you want with it. Um, so let me give you an example of doing something with JavaScript. Now, this is not how I would recommend doing it. If you want to write JavaScript on your web page, at least use a library like jQuery that makes things way, way, way easier. Here. But for this example, I wanted to use some JavaScript that didn't have any external dependencies. So, um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. This is the source of the web page, and this is what the browser is going to send. The, sorry, the server is going to send to the browser. And this is the CSS, and this is how the page is going to look. Great. But here's what's going to, what I'm going to do. When this page is loaded, there's a piece of JavaScript that's going to run on the page. And that JavaScript is going to change this heading. It's going to change it from here's a slightly smaller heading to um, test. Okay? And here's that little bit of JavaScript right over here. Okay? Uh, the JavaScript, let me zoom in. Uh, the JavaScript says document get elements by tag name. So this is a function that returns all of the elements on the web page that are of type H2. So get me all the elements on the page that are a second level heading or an H2 tag. This uh, bracket zero bracket gives me the first one. This is an array syntax, uh, which is probably familiar if you've written any sort of pro pro done any programming. And then it says the inner HTML uh, aspect of this object. So this is the contents of the tag, the inner HTML. And I'm going to set it to test. So what should this do? It should find the first h2 element on the page. In this case, there's only one. Um, it should take that element and should replace the contents, which are here is the slightly smaller heading, with test. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to run my uh, JS fiddle. Boom. There it is. So I replace that with test. Let me, uh, and let me do it in another test. Uh, let's see, why is this? Let's move this down a bit. There we go. Okay, run. So this gives you a sense of the fact that the JavaScript can change things on the page. The JavaScript can do all sorts of things. Um, let me give you an example of something else that you may have seen. There's a very uh, common JavaScript function that isn't used as much anymore, happily, because it's super irritating, uh, something called alert. So what does alert do? Alert generates a pop-up window on the page, and then I can give it some text. So uh, let me do this. These are annoying and shouldn't be used anymore. Um, awesome. OK, so now I'm going to hit Run. Ah, right. So, And I can see that I, when the page was loaded, I got this uh, pop-up window that, that loaded and says these are annoying and should be used anymore. I click OK, and now I, get the, I can see the page. Um, so again, JavaScript is a huge topic in and of itself. It's a fascinating language. I would strongly encourage you to learn it. It's a lot of fun. It allows you to write code that runs in the web browser, which is the most exciting programming environment out there today. Um, but JavaScript is a critical part of how pages work. So you get the HTML, describes the page's semantics, uh, the structure of the page, the CSS, 
gives you a sense of how the page looks, and then JavaScript code that's running in your web browser when you visit web pages that can modify the page, do all sorts of fascinating things. A lot of your modern experience of the web is really, really driven by JavaScript. If you want to experience that, try turning it off sometimes.